So welcome back friends. Today is a very special day. It's our 40th wedding anniversary. Yeah, right. 14th. 14th <laughs> wedding anniversary. And so this, or actually last night we talked about it and I said, Mrs. W, what do you want to do on your anniversary? And you said, work in the woods. Work in the forest. So we have a, um, we've been saving this project for you guys. It's a uh, it's a place that we're going to hopefully build a kind of a deck, a seating place. It's on the top side or the east side of our pond. It's probably a piece of property we haven't shown a whole lot, but it's really, really nice. I went through a couple days ago um, with the brush hog and did a lot of the heavy lifting, but there's quite a bit of handwork to be done, and that's what you and I are going to be doing today. And we actually worked in here three years ago, maybe. It was packed tight, all these trees, and so we had done the initial clearing then. When we first bought the property, we didn't even know there was a pond here uh, because it was completely engulfed in, in this of a brush brush all the way around yeah. it. And this is kind of where we started the whole project. We just said, okay, we're going to do a, a 10 by 10 spot right here and we got, got a toehold. And, uh, and you now start it's, moving. Yeah, now it's, it's, it's completely changing. So I um, thought we'd bring you guys along and uh, hope you enjoy the show. I wish you love and happiness. Yeah. I guess I wish. I just don't buy that. You are the best. Yeah. You ever pounded a wedge? Uh, I don't think so. You want to try it? I don't know. <laughs> Is this on camera? <laughs> okay, I'll show you here. All right, stand right here. Right where I'm at. Okay. Come right over here. Okay, so you have to stand in a, up on the balls of your feet, shoulder okay. width apart. Uh-huh. And uh, you have to position yourself where, when this comes down, when your arms are straight, where that's going to impact. Right there. Okay. And then take it up, slide your hand up, take it up, and let it fall. Got it? This looks awfully heavy for me. It's the Bismarck. Both hands on the back, on the back, right there. That's where your arm's straight, where you're going to, where you're going to come down. Okay. Keep this hand here, that gauges your distance. Slide this hand to help you lift it. You don't need to swing it because it's so heavy, you just can drop it. Now you see you overstruck a little bit, you hit over here. Uh -huh. You hit the handle, you break the maul. So step back at half inch or so, so that you don't do that. Whoa. Um, I think maybe at the end of the summer. Keep going, you'll just do this one split and then I'll finish it up. It's good, really heavy. Good for your shoulders. You're almost there. This is like <laughs> really heavy. <laughs> I know I've got a super left arm because I'm holding the baby all the time. But... Uh Do you know why I didn't do very well? Why is that? Because I wanted you to look good on camera. You, show, <laughs> you were just showing me, showing me the girl power, right? That we all hear so much about. So what is your recommendation on the way I should fall it? Well, you've watched my videos, right? You should know all about that. I've seen one or two. <laughs> it doesn't matter. These Literally, ones. I've seen one or two. <laughs> it's, uh, it's leaning that way. So uh, you don't need to do a face cut, just uh, cut it flush or okay. as close as you can. So when we come through here with the mower, uh, we don't hit it. So what I typically do is take your boots and knock a little bit down, come to the high side, give yourself room for your handle, and then just cut it right there. Don't put this on the dirt, just come up, you know, three quarters of an inch or so. Oh, 
Uh oh. Blackberry vines. I hate them. They're everywhere. Well, we're pretty lucky we don't have the Himalayan that they have down in the valley. These just kind of creep along the ground. They do, but it's bad when you're running and you've got short socks on or shorts on. Oh, yeah. And they like crawl up your legs and scrape you up. Good to know where it is, maybe. Um, so, one of the things we should do is rake out our culvert here, huh? Yeah. Where were you putting all the trash left? Uh, just up by that ponderosa. So this, this right here is, uh, we have two overflows for the dam. In the winter when the snow melts, the dam level will come way up. Uh, and the main overflow is over there, and then this is the emergency overflow, so we don't, so it doesn't blow out the whole dam. So uh, you can see all of these logs and everything have kind of floated in here when the overflow was. So we want to get the grass out of here, keep this out of here, so if, if this is needed, that it doesn't get all plugged up. Summer's ends around the bend just flying. The swimming suits are on the line just drying. I'll meet you there for our conversation. I hope I didn't ruin your whole vacation. Well, you never know how far from home. Baby, that makes more of a mess than it, it does more harm than good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, uh... Okay, so you, uh, you go get that one uh, right there. Okay. Um, and throw it on the burn pile, and then I'll rake this out real quick. Do, uh, two course that rake. So that is the ticket, it, that brush hog, <laughs> it actually excavates, it takes the dirt and fills in the low spots. I mean, so what we're going to do now, um, I was using a brush rake and it was making more of a mess yeah. <laughs> than, than uh, we had before. So uh, we'll go along and we'll pick up all the big stuff and then I'll just back down and just bring that uh, brush hog over there and it, it, it kind of throws the dirt, levels it all out, it mulches everything, we don't have to pick up sticks anymore. It's uh, wonderful. Now we just need some, uh, what are you going to put in here, grass seed? I'll probably get some native grass Some seed. native grass seed, maybe yeah. throw some wildflowers. I mean, there, there's grass here, but it's, it can always use a little help, right? Thanks for the coffee. <gasps> so I, I went up, up to check on the kids and Jack said, oh, I made you guys some coffee. Happy anniversary. Best boy in the world, that one. <laughs> Best boy in the world. We call it Jack Bucks. All right, well, I'm gonna rake this out, so uh, you jump over. We're, we're making good time here. Yeah. Jump over and start doing the rest of the cutting. Sounds good. And then we'll get the fire started because we have to cook lunch on it. Yeah. Do you like how like I just keep taking layer after layer off? Yeah, you came out, you had a lot of clothes on. And <laughs> said, I told her that those won't last very long. Okay, so this is a drip torch. Some of you have seen this. This is a pretty cool tool. This is a very old tool that we use in wildland firefighting uh, for starting burnouts, back burns. 
and it's a, essentially a container. Uh, it's got that old school Forest Service look to it, doesn't it? It's I mean, beautiful. They've been made, made the same for, for 100 years probably. Um, I feel pretty lucky to have one of these. Uh, but what's inside is a mix of 25% uh, uh, gasoline and 75% diesel. And it's in its stored position now, so I'll show you how to, how to set this up. This is uh, the little stoppers on a chain. This one's for storing it. This one is uh, for cutting it off when, we're, when you're transporting it. That's where the, the fuel comes out. And it's important when you take these off to, to store the brass plug because it'll flop back and forth and impede the flow. Drain it out. It just looks like quality, doesn't it? It is quality. Do they and, make uh, them new nowadays? They do, and they're just they're made just as well as they were. Orient it so that this uh, loop is uh, on the downhill side of the... Or is it the front hill side? Maybe the front. No. Yeah, excuse me. The downhill side, because you, when you hold it, this needs to pour out Onto on that. top of the, uh, the, uh, the torch. Okay. Lock this down. Here. And then there's a vent on here. You crack that. Depending on how much you want to come out, uh, you open and close this. But once you have it uh, locked down, then you can just light it with a match or a torch, whatever you have. Okay. Uh, go ahead. You got your gloves on? Yeah. Okay, I'll show you how to use it. These are actually built in Oregon. Yeah, I see. It says Medford. Medford, Oregon. Do I need to move that thing? No, it's okay. okay. So the drip torch, uh, what it does is it, it you can lay down a, uh, open this vent here, you can lay down a stream of fire for doing burnouts, and you can see that the more you open this, the more it will come out. But uh, see how that just pours out on top of the, you pour it out on top of the flame there? Yep. So you can go along here and, and just get this green stuff lit up and uh, burning. Now I have a question. Yeah. How is this different than Girl Scout juice? Girl, that is Girl Scout juice. <laughs> so why are you using it? Well, because we can't start backburns with flint and steel. It takes too long. And how much do I put on? Until it's going good and hot. Okay. Uh, so this is just starting a fire for me, but most men I know love to do this kind of stuff. Why? What, why? Yeah. To do what? To start fire? Yeah. Well, like to me, this is a job. But men, I, most men are, really want to do this. So the fire department, whether it be wildland or structural, are just a bunch of pyromaniacs that don't have the courage to go to jail. Oh. So you it's mean, a, it's, I don't know that courage is the right word. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a sanctioned arson, especially wildland. Because what you're paid to do uh, in the forest, you'd be, uh, you'd be convicted and put in jail for. A few stumps that we didn't, when we originally logged this, that we didn't take down close enough to the ground. And this this one here I hit with a, the mower and it didn't like it. So uh, we're, uh, Mrs. W is going around and identifying those and we'll just grub them out here. And then uh, cut them down flush with the, uh, the chainsaw. worth it to take two three minutes with the Pulaski and clear out around it right there what I thought was a root would have been a 20 minute sharpening job on the saw there's another one oh I, I like to sharpen but not that much well, friends, that's all the time we have for today's show. But uh, Mrs. W and I, we had a we had a really nice anniversary last night, and we're not super fancy people, and we don't have a need to. I guess the way we look at it is that um, I guess maybe some folks would would get bent out of shape if their mate didn't um, come home with a 
expensive gift or flowers or or, or who knows what, but uh, we never have really looked at it that way because we, I guess to us, every day feels like an anniversary. We just are best friends and we just enjoy being together. That's the only thing that really matters outside of outside of all those, you know, all those things that we're told that uh, we need to be doing on an anniversary. We went and had dinner, uh, and uh, on the way home, she asked me, um, so why... Why do you love me? What are some of the reasons? She's always trying to pin me down on that. You know, she likes to hear that. And I said, you know, I guess the thing that comes to mind, and I mean, first off, how much time do you have? <laughs> I could go on about it for a long time, but the the thing that comes to my, came first came to mind for me was um, I just I, I just love being in your presence. Um, and even after being uh, together for 15 years or so, um, even if she she just is gone to the neighbors for a couple hours or runs down to to town uh, to to get something, I feel not complete um, when she's not there. I feel like I'm half a person um, when she's not there by my side, and I guess that's the reason why. Um, I guess that's the reason why I love her. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoyed these forestry videos. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. And you can join us for our uh, for our lunch uh, down by the pond. And we'll see you guys on the next video.